So we get a ton of questions about how to put these rims in on uh, Torca motors. And the biggest confusion is, if you see down in this house in here, you've got all these little notches around your actual motor where your brake's at here, all these notches. And then on your nut, you have individual notches. So the key is to get this tab lined up with the correct notches, which can be confusing. Uh, the way I personally like doing it is I just look at, I'll look here and I say, okay, well this is about in between halfway on this notch and the edge. So then I'll come through here and I'll look and I'll be like, okay, it's on the right side. So I just need to find one that's close, which this one's probably gonna be it. So we're just gonna go ahead and try and drop this down in. Get your gears lined up. Now, that one sunk in. I did, I did pick the right one the first time. Sometimes what'll happen if you're not in all the way correctly, like you can see how this is almost flush down in there, right here. What'll happen is, is if you're misaligned, say you're off by one, this will drop down still, but it won't align with the nut, and you can see how it's raised, which would then prevent you from putting your second set of gears in. So, we'll get this back to there. Once that's in, hopefully get your washer there. This next set of gears goes in pretty easy. You just drop it right in. They're a little easier to put in when they're not covered in oil. And then after that, all we do is this will go right down into that brake, your sun shaft gear. And most of the time it's gonna be misaligned like this. So what you can do is you can get a screwdriver, really anything. And this will spin freely until that shaft's lined up. So you can see here, I just between the two housings. And then I'm just gonna push and you can watch this thing fall into place up here. So I'll just push this until the teeth get right where they need to be here. And sometimes it takes a little tap because the gears are a little tight. There you go. And then the only thing after that is these washers we had made here, um, I like to grease the inside of them. I'll push it down and then whatever excess grease comes over the top, I'll just wipe over the top. That holds that in place. And then you got your end cover still here. Uh, so the end cover, we like to pressure test every, all of our gearboxes here. It just helps us make sure that we're not gonna have leaky end seals. Most of the time these will go down and you can just kind of pat them with your hand. Um, once that's on there, throw your snap ring back in. Snap ring should install pretty easy unless you got a couple dings in here, which you might end up inevitably having to cut out a little bit of that and clean it up if you are having issues like that. And the only other next step is I plug, I put two plugs in here and then leave the third one open. Probably gonna have to cut a little bit of this because I'm gonna have to go grab that. This all this is is just soapy water. It's kind of like when you change a tire. Soapy water on the top. So all this is, we just pressure test it like max five pounds of pressure. It's just to make sure that we're not gonna get any bubbles coming up through the seal on the end cover. And normally this doesn't take all too long, you'll see bubbles pretty stinking quick if you're gonna get any, which it looks like we haven't, so. Now you got that pressure tested. Fill her up with oil, she's good to go. That's it.